Hey, Coach Guam, we finally made it here to the Penn State Athletic Training Facilities. We're here with the fencing trainer, Mike Schroeder. Uh, what are we, what are we going to see? Okay, Mike, this is your floor. Uh, thank okay. you. So, um, this is Rec Hall. This is one of the facilities that uh, teams on campus can train out of. Um, I work with fencing and a couple other teams on campus. Um, a few years ago, we actually just renovated this place, so we actually gutted the entire room. It was mostly machines. Um, as you can see right now, we have we have nine. We used to have ten um, custom Sorenex racks. Um, everything is uniform across the board. Um, it's just for like the curve and feel for the athletes. Like if you want to come in here, you're going to have that wow effect to it. But it's not just for show. It's also like there's a lot of work that gets done in here. Um, they ripped up the floors. They just basically modified everything. We took everything out, as you can see. There's a few things that we kept, a couple pieces of machinery. Um, the reason for that is just because for injuries with athletes, you need to isolate certain things. Um, everything can't be one size fits all. Um, if you notice in the back right now, there's a wall up. We're working on the hydrotherapy room, which is gonna cover hot and cold tubs, uh, sauna, there's gonna be some showers and bathrooms, and just some things like that just for the recovery of the athlete, which is sometimes more important than the training. So if you're, if you're injured or if you're not feeling good, not only physically does that bother you, but mentally at this level, it bothers you as well. Um, so if you feel good, a lot of times you'll probably perform well too. So um, just taking you around, again, everything's custom. Sorenex is the equipment, uh, play is the floor. Um, if you actually turn around here in the back, um, it's an extension of the weight room. Again, there's a lot of cluster, cluster right now. It's only because it's under construction. Um, in the back, there's some cardio equipment. Uh, basically, just kind of the, uh, the nuts and bolts of everything. It's really just, really, we've got air dyes, bikes, treadmills. Uh, the machine you see in the back, we call that a power plate. Uh, it was custom made for Penn State. We use that for recovery. Uh, I can use it for massage. I can use it for stretching. I can use it for any kind of strength exercise. Um, it doesn't matter in the back, just some toys that I like, um, some things that you can tailor programs to the individual athlete. Um, a lot of the times, like with fencing specifically, um, we have to tailor we do a lot of footwork, um, a lot of speed, a lot of power things, but at the same time, you've got to have an endurance component to that because it's not just everything happens like that, but at the same time, though, it's, it's an extended match. You need to actually continually do that and continually put out force in everything you do. So um, we basically just tailor it towards the athlete and what they can and can't do. A lot of unilateral things. Uh, a lot of the times in that sport, you see one side dominant all the time. So breaking it up and try to actually make that other side just as strong as the dominant side is how you need to do it or how you should do it in my opinion. Um, and again, just some toys. We got some power blocks in the back. Um, what you see with those is, you saw that dumbbell rack in the front, and that was from before in the weight room. Again, it was custom for Penn State. Um, it's good, you can get a lot of things done, but again, if you notice, it takes up a lot of room. So if you see in the back, we have what's called a power block. Uh, I'll bring it over for you just so you don't gotta bounce around. But pretty much through here, it's just like a dumbbell. Um, Again, I'm doing almost an advertisement for it, but at the same time, though, um, with NCA compliance rules and everything like that, um, and the care hours, you need to be effective and efficient with your time. So, in the weight room, we purchased these. We have 10 of them spaced out all the way down. Again, you can get a lot of work done in a short amount of time, and you have big teams coming through. You need to do that. Otherwise, you're not gonna get anything done. Um, so these were a great purchase. They don't take up much room. We had to go up to 127 pounds is the highest you can go. Over here, these were used. That's just some bring. some good light yeah, rep somebody weight. Didn't bring them back, but, it's, <laughs> but over here we <laughs> I have to look for these later. But the red it goes up to 127 pounds. That rack you saw on the corner that takes up all that space goes up to 130. So you can see again, 10 of these at 127 pounds, we can get a lot of things done. A lot less real estate. Exactly. Um, if you didn't see the back, we actually have four pull down machines and four cables. So again, you can isolate things for athletes. If you have somebody that can or cannot do certain things, example, like a pull-up, you know, or if somebody has like, some kind of shoulder impingement, you can put them on a pull-down bar. You can sit here and take different bars. Um, and again, it's all about tailoring. You can't have a cookie cutter program at any level, in my opinion. Um, pretty much all, the whole facility, again, um, appreciate it.